Okay, guys, the first thing that I'm going to do is just take this brown, just this regular brown color right here, and put it on the lids of my eye. I'm going to put it all over the lid. And the other side. I'm just using a regular eyeshadow brush. Okay, so now that I put the brown over my eyelids, I'm just going to um, put a highlight on my, underneath my eyebrows right now. It's easier for me to put it on right now than later, so I'm just going to take a white, put it right under my eyebrows. And the other one. I'll do my eyebrows later on. Okay, so. I put on the highlight and I'm just gonna sort of blend it out a little bit. Okay, so I have the highlight on. Sorry, I'm making so much noise, like so loud. I'm gonna take this dome like blending brush, it's a double sided. I'm gonna take the smaller one and go in with um, this sort of charcoal color black. And with the tip of the dome brush, I'm just going to make a V right on the outside of my eye. And into the crease. So that's the shape that I want to have. And then I'm going to put a little bit right here. All this is going to be blended, so don't worry. I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so I did both sides, and then I'm going to take the same brown color, and with the, um, the fluffier side, I'm just going to brush right back over and sort of just blend out the sides a little bit. And then on the other side, just blending, I'm just blending them together. Other side. Flip it over. Blend. 
blend it out. Put some of the brown up here, just a little bit. And all the fallout, don't worry about that because I'm going to do my foundation after. So I look kind of weird right now, kind of plain. So I'm going to take this fluffy brush and dip it in a darker black that I have. Just a darker color, or the same one, it doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to start blending it out. Adding, blending and adding, blending and adding. You really have to blend this like crazy. If you don't want such a dark color, you can use sort of like a darker gray. Blending, blending, brush, and then when you add some, just brush some off your, or tap it a little bit, some of the excess that's in the brush, blending it out more and more and more. Looks a lot darker on cam, so. Add a little bit more. Blend it, blend it, blend. Woo! This is crazy. Okay. So I blended that and do the other side. So I'll be right back. Okay, and then I sometimes I take just a light gray and just blend it out with it to tone it down a little bit. Okay. So then I'm going to take the same the same brown color I used before and do the same exact thing. Go over the brown that I had and just blend out where the brown and the black meet so it doesn't look so harsh. Add a little more in the corners and this side. And then I'm going to add just like barely tap in the black, blow it off and just, you know, blend again. Blend more, blend more. Okay, right now I probably look really crazy. Add more brown, more needed. Want both eyes to be as even as I can get them. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. I know the color in here is really bad. But, um, you can see how I blended it out. Okay, so, um, I'm going to use the same brush, same blending brush, and use, just sort of clean it off a little bit, but, um, I'm going to use this All May palette I use a lot because you guys know I always highlight, not highlight, I always like to put a little in my eye, in the corner of my lid, or in the corner of my eye. I'm just going to take this stone brush, get some in, and I literally go like that and dab it, dab it in. Get a little bit more. And when you put this in the corner of your eyelid, it just brightens your eye a lot. So, I put it in there and I'm just going to blend it in with the brown. Just right in here, just blend it in a little bit. And then I always go like this. Okay. Just put some in the corner. 
And then I'll just sort of brush it up a little bit, brush the white up a little, just blend it out a little bit. And then I'm going to do the other side. Then push it up, blend it out. So it doesn't look like such a look like a harsh white line going around your eye. You just want it to look really subtle, and I like doing that because it catches the light really well. And this is like my favorite, favorite color to use for underneath my eyes and in the corner and my highlight. Just going to put a little bit up here. Like I said, I'll do my eyebrows later. So... up a little bit so you guys can see so so far that's what it looks like okay sorry I'm back okay so um now that's pretty much it like it's I know it was really simple but so far that's pretty much all I do I don't really wear a lot of eyeshadows so I just just blend it out a little bit with your fingers whatever however you do it but that's just my little simple look. I'm going to now do, um, I'm going to sort of wipe off all the fallout I have with the brush. And then I'm going to do my under eyes. Okay, so I um, added blush, and I contoured my nose a little bit, and I also put on my eyebrows. So the next thing I'm going to do, you guys see me do this before, is put white under my eyes, because I hate, I hate eyeliner on me. I feel like it looks really gross, and I just don't like it. So I'm just going to take some white and put it under there. It just makes your eyes look really bigger, and yeah. I'm just going to put it right underneath my eyes. If I put it directly under on my bottom lash line and all that stuff, so... And touch up in there. Okay, right, a little bit more. Okay, so. I put that underneath my eyes and I still kind of look weird a little bit so I usually just take my like all of my makeup bag I'm so not prepared for this I'm gonna put a little mascara underneath if I can find my mascara okay well I can't find my mascara but I'm gonna just use this Lancome or Clinique High Impact Mascara and just put it a little bit under here. I'm going to do my other side and I'll be right. Okay, so I put mascara on both sides and I'm just going to line the top of my eye with this e.l.f liquid liner. Okay, so I put on my eyeliner, I put on mascara, all that good stuff. I really hope 
that this video was helpful. I kind of feel like it wasn't, though. I feel like I wasn't, like, it wasn't. But let me know. I don't know. But I'm going to put on this um, pink color lipstick. That's what it looks like. Can you guys see that? Well, that's what it looks like. And it's from NYC. This was like a dollar, I think. I think it was. Um, and it's called Fragile Pink. So I'm just going to put this on. And then with it, I'm going to put on this lip gloss called, um, I don't know what the color is called. It doesn't say, oh, Baby Pink, and it's just an L.A. color lip gloss, and I know this costs a dollar. So, it's like really frosty, though. So, I just kind of get a little bit and put it on there over the Baby Pink. And that's it. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. I just want everybody to know that the blending brush I used, I got from Walmart. I think it's only like $2. And it's like a really, 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 really good blending brush. Because I lost my um, my 217 brush from MAC. So, I was really mad. But um, this is a brush that I got from Walmart for like $2. So, definitely go check that out. And I also want to show you guys this correct... Um, what is it called? A corrective, I think these are corrective palettes or something like that. It's called Nobody's Perfect Concealer Palette. So this is a medium, this is the medium palette. So it's a little light, but it still works pretty good. Uh, it's cheap, I believe it's under $10, maybe like 5 or $8 or something like that. And I also got this from Walmart and they have a lot of other things from Nobody's Perfect. Um, and it comes with this little brush that I don't really know. I'd use it as a lip brush though. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. I'd use it as a lip brush because yeah. So check that out. Um I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure everybody um you guys all enter in my five hundred subscriber contest. Really good prizes. Um eleven light and have a great day. Stay glamorous bitches. Peace.